Hi guys! So a lot of you guys have been requesting for more get ready with me type videos and I figured since I'm going out somewhere fun tonight I would get ready a little bit earlier and have time to sit down and film a video and film a talk through video to take you guys through the whole entire process of me getting ready. So I'll be showing you my makeup, my hair, I'm going to start with primer because the concert's not until 9 and I have like 6 hours to kill so I want my makeup to stay on as long as it can. So I take a like pea size amount and concentrate that more in my T-zone. So around my nose, pat it under my eyes, definitely my forehead because I don't know about you but my forehead gets really shiny for some reason. So I just kind of pat that in. And then I also like to prime my eyes just to let the eye primer sit and kind of, I don't know, does this thing before I put any eyeshadows on because I've noticed that if I prime my eyes and then apply shadows on right away, the primer is still a little tacky so my shadows don't blend as easily. I don't really know what I'm doing with my makeup yet. I usually just sit down, start with my foundation and hopefully something comes to mind. And today, I'm hoping that'll be the case because I have no idea what I'm wearing, how I'm doing my hair, or how my makeup is going to turn out. So we have eye primer on. We'll put on foundation because I look really kind of scary without foundation. Um, this is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Stromboli. This is my, you guys know this, my holy grail foundation. I know this is going to stay on all night for me. And it doesn't look weird in pictures because there's no white flash or white cast in uh, flash photography. So I usually just dot some on my face. And even though this doesn't cover all my imperfections, that's okay with me because it looks more natural that way. I don't want to look too cakey. And especially in pictures, you kind of look more powdered than you really are. So I'm using my Real Techniques um, buffing brush and this brush is awesome for foundation. This one is really, really soft on your skin and it blends the foundation out a lot quicker because there's more surface area or it covers more surface area. But yeah. Oh, I didn't tell you guys what I was doing. We are going to see The weekend tonight. Um, it was my graduation present for my brother, so it'll be my brother, my cousin Jenny, and my boyfriend and myself going to see him. And if you don't know who The Weeknd is, it is, or it is, he is, the guy that sings Earned It from the Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack, which is an amazing song. How sexy is that song? And he also sings um, Love Me Harder with Ariana Grande. So we're all really excited. My boyfriend has loved him for like years now. I bought us tickets to go see him um, I think two years ago, two or three years ago when he was at Radio City Music Hall in New York and I got his tickets and I just fell in love with his music. His concert was amazing so I'm really excited about this one. For concealer I'm just going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard and this concealer is awesome for brightening under your eyes. I don't use it for any blemishes because my foundation covers enough of my blemish for me. Um, if I'm having a really bad skin day, I'll put on some concealer on the blemishes. So I'm just going to highlight the points of my face that I want to highlight. <sighs> I'm like running out of breath. And then I'm going to take the Real Techniques contour brush and this one is really great for blending out concealer because it's so tapered and small it gets into the contours of your face really nicely. So we're just going to blend that out. See how like easily the brush makes it to blend um, the concealer out? So that is concealer. I am going to set everything with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush from Real Techniques. This is their blush brush. It's massive. I don't know who would use this for blush. So I don't want it to look powdery, so I'm going to use very little powder on a big fluffy brush. And that helps take away too much product being on your face. So just to set everything. 
And then I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows really, really quick because they're looking kind of ghostly on camera. I swear they're not this bald in person. I'm using the Anastasia um, Brow Powder Duo in the color Dark Brown. I'm going to take that lighter color and put that on the front parts of my brow. I'm not one that is really good at doing her eyebrows, so this powder just makes it super easy to fill in my brows. So just put the light color in the front, and then I'll go in with the dark colors with the same brush. This is a brush from Coastal Scents, their number BRCN18. I don't know why you would name a brush that. What happened to just an angled brush? But I'm going to use that dark color and fill in the tail of my eyebrows and a little bit of the middle. And just kind of blend in the two colors. A lot of you guys request for an eyebrow routine and I know they're popular to watch because everybody needs help filling in their eyebrows, like myself. But I'm really not good at doing my eyebrows. Um, so I don't know how much help I would be to you guys if I made a video on it. Like that, that was my routine. Sometimes I'll use the brow pomade by Anastasia, but even that frightens me sometimes. And then I'm just going to brush it out with a spoolie from um, Beige Cosmetics. This came as like a whole kit thing, so it doesn't really have a name. But any spoolie would work just to get rid of the excess powder. And now it is time for the eyes. The time has come to decide what to do with my eyes and I think I'm just going to do a smoky eye and nude lips kind of a look because we're going to be eating pizza and drinking a little bit before the concert so I don't want to have to worry about my lipstick fading, smearing pizza oils on it so I'm just going to do a nude lip and keep it really simple and easy. So for the eye look, I'm just going to use the Make It On The Run palette by Urban Decay. I really like this palette because it's the perfect palette to get a full face look, minus the foundation and concealer. I'm going to take this middle color called Resist, and it's just a really pretty bronzy brown, kind of satiny brown. And I'm going to take that on the e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow brush. These are like a dollar and I have... I don't know, a bajillion of them because they're awesome. And I'm just going to lightly pat that all over my eyelid. It's going to be on my lid and just a little bit above my crease because I'm going to blend that out. Okay, so I just messily put that on all over. And then I'm just going to take a MAC 217 brush and going in with um, the second color from the left called Fix. And it's just a matte skin tone color brown. <laughs> so I'm going to take that on the tip of my brush and use that to blend out the crease. Just to blend out that um, taupey brown color so that we have a really nice smoky gradient effect. See how much nicer it looks when you blend it out? If you're in a rush, this could just be, well, this side, <laughs> this could just be your smoky eye. Just throw on some liner and some mascara and you'd be good to go. I'm just going to do the same to the other side. And then I'm just going to take the color, what are you? No, Dare. And it's just a darker version of the color we just put on. It's a matte, um, mid-tone brown and I'm just going to take that on the same brush. So I'm just going to take that darker matte brown and put that on the outer crease and kind of form a V just to give this look a little bit more depth and dimension and make this a little bit more smoky. And because I want this to look a little bit darker and a little bit smokier, I'm going to take a dark brown color from my Tarte Tartlet palette and get the color Dreamer and Multitasker, kind of mix the two, and put that just right on the outer corner. Okay, 
And for the brow bone highlight, I'm going to just stick with the Tartlet palette and get a BRC NO3 brush from Coastal Scents. And using the color Free Spirit up top, it's like a pale yellow. And it's a really pretty highlight color because it lifts your eyebrows without being a shimmery color, so it looks really natural. So I'm just going to put that right underneath my brow bone. It also helps clean up the darker colors up top if you went too far. So this is a really, really pretty and natural color to put on your brow bone. Okay. And for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be using my Lorac Pro 2 palette. I'm going to take the Real Technique Detailer brush. It's a really small pointed brush and going in with the color Snow. It is a really, really pretty shimmery white color. And I'm going to put this right in the inner corner and it totally brightens up the entire look. Do you guys see that? It's like super brightening. And if this is too much for you guys, just blend it out. But I think it looks really pretty in pictures. So I'm just going to put this right in the inner corner. I'm going to take the closest scent brush in BRC um, N01. It's just a really small shadow brush. And I'm just going to go in with the color Resist again from the Naked on the Run palette. That bronzy taupe and run that all underneath my lower lash line. I really like this color. It's like a browner version of Satin Taupe by MAC. It's one of those colors that looks good with every skin tone, every eye color. And then I'm just gonna take Multitasker on the same, whoops, on the same brush and just darken out the outer corners. I rarely ever put um, eyeliner on my lower lash line because it just smudges on me for some reason. So I usually just do a dark brown underneath. And then I'm just going to take a MAC 219 brush. It's just a fluffy pencil brush. And going in with the color Fix from the Naked on the Run palette. And dusting that right underneath that resist color. So it really smokes out the lower lash line. Without looking too harsh. Because it kind of just matches with your skin tone anyways. So just putting that right underneath those colors that we place under and smoking it out. I'm kind of connecting it to the upper lash line colors to really just pull this whole look together. So that's basically it for eyeshadows. I'm just going to throw on some liquid liner. I'm going to do a really subtle winged liner and throw in some lashes. So I just did a really subtle winged liner and I used the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner. This is the one I use in all my videos basically. So liner is done. I'm just going to tight line my upper waterline really quick with the Sephora Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear Waterproof Eyeliner Pencil. And this one works really great. It actually is, I don't know if it's waterproof but it doesn't smudge on me which is quite impressive because every other liner smudges, which is annoying. So I'm just going to quickly tight line. Hopefully I didn't get that on my contacts because I do that every time. So that was the liner. For lashes, I'm just going to throw on the Demi Wispies by Ardell. I'm just going to use the Duo Waterproof Eyelash Adhesive in clear white. I've also used the um, dark version, which works great as well. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of glue onto the lash band. You guys know how this goes. Apply a thin layer, wait about 15 to 20 seconds so that the glue gets tacky, and then just slap these babies on. And we're just going to apply this. So because I don't curl my natural lashes, I like to take the time to pinch 
the false lashes right onto my real lashes. And while the lash glue is drying, I'm just gonna throw on some um, mascara on my bottom lashes or what is left of them. It's so sad, my lashes. This is just the Maybelline Lash Stiletto in the waterproof version. And this is okay. It's not the best brush for your lower lash line. I like the Maybelline Falsies Mascara for that. And then to blend my natural lashes with the fake lashes, I'm gonna do a really, really thin coat of mascara. And if you want, you can just run your liquid liner right on top of the lash glue. If there's any parts that is too shiny from the lash glue or still white. And that is it for our eyes, guys. Now we're gonna move on to bronzer. I'm just gonna do a really nice bronze look for my face. I don't want anything too contoured or too heavy. So I'm just gonna use the bronze booster from Physician Formula and take that on my Real Technique Multitask brush. It's just a really nice, fluffy, dome-shaped brush. And I'm just gonna dip that into there and brush this on my cheekbones. This is an awesome bronzer. I've been using it for years now and I just keep going back to it even though I fall in love with other bronzers. It's just so natural and non-orangey and it just looks really pretty even, if, even in the fall when you want to look a little bit tanner but not unnaturally tan. So I really do like this product. So run that all over. So for blush, since my eye is pretty heavy, um, I'm going to do a more peachy tone. Yeah, I'll do Benefit Rockateur, which is a really nice peachy pink. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. This brush is like $3 and it's really awesome. So I'm just going to put some on my brush, tap it off, and put this right on my cheekbones. This color matches with every eye look that I wear. It's pretty amazing. It just gives you a really natural glow. And I think it really complements a nice, taupey, smoky eye. So instead of swiping or brushing it on, kind of tap it on your cheeks. That way you don't um, move your foundation or concealer. And I don't know, it just blends in a lot nicer if you do it that way, I found. So there is blush. Highlighter, I guess we can go pretty heavy for the highlighter. I'm just gonna use my Mary Luminizer from The Balm. It's an awesome highlighter. And I'm just using my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. This brush is really great for a lot of things. You can contour with it, pat on your blush, and just wipe on a little bit of highlighter, which is what I'm using it for today. So I'm just gonna tap the highlighter right on my cheekbones. This highlighter is amazing. It makes you so glowy without looking like a disco ball. And I love it on the tip of my nose. It just makes the whole look really pretty and glowy. And because I want my makeup to stay on through the night, so I'm just going to spray on some setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And this stuff is awesome. It really does keep your makeup on all day. So I'm going to shake it up and do some spritz. So that is the face makeup. It is time for lips. And I think I'm just gonna do a nude lip. So I'm just gonna take um, Wet n Wild's Just Peachy. And this is one of their Mega Last lipstick. So this is Just Peachy and it's a really pretty peachy pink while still looking nude. So it's really, really wearable. So that is my lipstick for lip gloss. Um, which lip gloss should I do? I'm just gonna take my NYX Butter Gloss, blah, gloss, gloss in the color Apple Strudel and do a really thin layer of it on, or in the middle of my lips. Just to give it a little bit of shine, plump them up a little bit without being too shiny and overboard because the eyes 
It's pretty dark and heavy. You don't want to draw any attention away from the eyes. So this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys like the look that I kind of just threw together. I really liked the way this look came out. The smoky eye is really sexy and sultry, so it's really perfect for a nighttime kind of event, like a nighttime concert. And the lips are so easy just to retouch if you are in the venue and just want to retouch your lip gloss. I hope you guys like this makeup look. Now let's get started with our hair. So just to save some time, I curled most of my hair and I just picked random one inch pieces and curled it around a, I think this is probably a one inch um, barrel-less or clamp-less barrel curling iron. And yeah, I literally just pick up random pieces and curl it for about 10 seconds and I do this throughout my whole head. And the under pieces, um, I do alternating curls, so I'll do one away from the face, one going towards the face, but my top layers I do going away from my face all throughout. So it's a really easy, messy, beachy kind of a look, and that's what I'm kind of going for because I don't know what I'm wearing, so I'm hoping this will just match whatever neckline my shirt is. So just messy waves all throughout. You do not have to be perfect because we're just going to throw in some texturizing spray and that just gives it a really nice, messy, undone look, but you still look good. So, curling the pieces. That's basically what I do with my curls. I'm not really too careful or make them too perfect. I kind of want it undone because this spray is magic and makes it look pulled together immediately. This is the Garnier Fructis Deconstructed Beach Chic Texturizing Spray with Black Fig. This is for loose textured beach waves and it really does give you loose textured beach waves. And it works amazing. So I just lift and spray. Again, nothing too perfect and kind of just scrunch it up to give it a really nice messy beach wave. Ugh just got that all over my face. It smells really, really good. It smells like fruity and florally. Again, just spray it all over. Kind of rough it up a little bit. And then make sure the top doesn't look like crazy or have any alfalfa pieces. <laughs> and that's basically what I do with my hair. If I'm in a rush, especially in the summer, this is what I do to look nice and ladylike and put together without too much time, effort, or heat because that is the worst thing. So that is basically it for my hair. It literally just took me five minutes to do. It is so easy and so simple to do. And it just, the spray will keep my hair like this all night, like nice and scrunchy and textured and really beachy. This is the finished makeup and hair look. I really like how this whole look came together. The eyes are really sultry and sexy, and it really pairs and kind of balances out the crazy, beachy, messy hair. So I hope you guys enjoy this look, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.